Avalanche's crimes. There are wanted posters for them. Our joy, our sorrows. All who call this planet home are families. There's no point lamenting choices made long ago. We must focus on that. So this is the famous cave. of the planet, by the boundless grace of the planet, and this kneel before us. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Preparing for fieldwork. Haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But well, fieldwork? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. Oh, are you treating me like I'm some infinite? I'm the very picture of health. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you off my way off while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the 
survey team has reported. Mm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. supposed to get past it or is there another entrance oh, 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 oh. Ah, forgive me you'll need a key it slipped my mind what are you doing here you're supposed to be at home now, there's no need to make such a fuss i simply wish to see this with my own eyes
Where did all these monsters come from? Hurry! We gotta protect the spring! <laughs> Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? <clears throat> the meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> But that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. Anarchy. Hmm. It seems all but spent. Or perhaps it is on the verge of awakening. Wait, is it just me or does that? sound like a weapon. Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels.
do this. Going all out. about it won't help anyone, Nanaki. Only one life spring remains. You must focus. Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Meter, if you would. We'll handle these guys. Get back. Let's do it right. Deal with that. Perhaps 
I am getting too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just... Try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh! Now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh! What did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. 